One of the world's most powerful guitar amp modelers has just been given its biggest update yet. Let's check out 3.0 from Neural DSP. <laughs> The Neural DSP Quad Cortex doesn't need an introduction when it comes to the guitar world. Anyone who is clued in with modelers and amp modelers will know exactly what this unit is and anyone who's been keeping up with the news of it. As soon as this launched, Neural DSP had said that they were going to work out a way to integrate their plugins, which if anybody does use them, you'll know how amazing they sound. That day is finally here and we're going to be checking out the 3.0 update with Neural DSP. Now, I'm going to be checking out a couple of the sounds in particular. I'm just going to be focusing on the plugins with it. But to give you a quick sort of overview, if you don't already know what has been added to this, the plugin integration is the kind of flagship sort of integration with this unit. Now, they have got the Plenty and the Gojira plugins, which both are given quite dramatically different sounds and I'm going to be checking out stuff from both of them. But there's also a couple of other additions as well, including side chaining, the transpose feature, which is on the plugins as well, which you'll hear how good that sounds. And also a couple of extra effects as well. I'll have some time to show off them in this video. But first, let's just check out what is actually being added with the plugins. So this patch here that we're going to be checking out, Aaron, our videographer, he has actually made this patch very closely based, but with a few tweaks on a patch that Rubia Massad has made that integrates both some of the, both the Pliny and the Gojira options in there as well. I'll obviously point to which one we're going to be using. And actually, we just did an interview with Rubia Massad as well, and he talks tone and guitars and his new band and everything. You should check that out after you've checked this video out. I'll leave the link for that in the description. But if we're to look just into this chain here. You'll notice just you've got a couple of blocks that said PLI, that's for Plenty, or GOJ, which is for Gojira. Now, even just to show you exactly where these are showing up, there is now a new option in the menu that if you are linked to your Neural DSP account with the Quad Cortex and you've already purchased the Gojira X or the Plenty X, they're just going to show up in there not just by themselves. You don't need to do anything other than just logging into your account. But you'll notice you've got all the options there just to obviously kind of add what you want from those. But let's hear just this patch here that inspired by Rabia Massad that uses two of the amps as well. <laughs> So it's quite a wet signal, obviously, as well as having the octaver on there as well. So let's just turn down some of those so we can actually hear how the amp is sounding. I'm actually, let me switch over just to this view so we can see everything. So this is just with both amps with all of the effects off. <laughs> And they're being panned left and right as well that you will hear, but if I turn the Gojira off, you'll be able to hear the plenty of leads here. And then if I turn on the Gojira. And then both together again. So particularly with that patch there, the Gojira amp is kind of filling out a lot of that low end and then the Pliny is kind of being a lot more cutting as well. But let me throw in just a little bit more of the sauce of this one as well. This has got the Gojira delay that, if I swipe back down, 
just show you there, it's exactly the same sort of layout as any of the other modules in the Quad Cortex here. So you're going to be really familiar if you have used these already and obviously you have the foot switches which act as the knobs as well. Now, the delays and the reverbs that are in here are based on the ones that are in the plugins kind of as I mentioned, but they do have their own kind of unique sort of characteristics about them. So they do stand out that little bit from the delays and the reverbs that are already in there, as well as some of the modulations and the octave as well. But this is with everything on with the octave are off as well. And you'll just hear how kind of thick this sounds. That was the main thing. And certainly Rubia Masad's no stranger to big full sounds. And I think that's kind of the best thing that's going. And one thing just before I play again, sorry to mention this does go through the Gojira cab here as well. And you'll notice that it's got exactly the same sort of layout as that, but there are cabs and IRs and amps for each of the plugins and you'll hear them just in a couple of extra sound examples later. <laughs> Let's jump over and focus just on one of the dedicated plugins. And actually for this, I'm going to switch over to a Les Paul, something that's a bit more kind of chunky and also means I can go down to drop D as well. So I'm going to be focusing on the Gojira sounds. And this is actually one of the cool things that Neural have implemented with this update as well is that anybody who's used the, the plugins will know that there are tons of like artist presets for the particular person whose plugin it is, or even actual, you know, guest artists and whatnot in there. And you can actually get access to all of them as well from going to the do, 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 plugin presets just there. So Architect Gojira X, you've got loads and loads of options to do that so actually if you do want to like check out just a couple of sounds that will kind of get you off the ground then that's a great place to check here but this is the Joe Duplante Rhythm 1 just from Gojira this is one of the kind of main ones certainly when I used the Gojira X for the first time this was one of the ones that like I particularly kind of leaned on just because it's that proper kind of thick Gojira sound that's just absolutely in so you can never not hear Gojira when you hear this tone <laughs> So anyone who's familiar with the band, obviously you'll just have so much fun with that as well. But there are a couple of extra bits that I want to kind of highlight, particularly with this preset as well. And that's one of the new transpose features that they put into the quad cortex. Now there have been octave and pitch shifty sort of options that you can use within this, but this is a direct lift from the plugins, which is just the transpose feature. And you'll notice here, I'll put that down by two steps. So this is just in drop D right now.
you'll have heard how immediate that was as well. And that's one of the things that I really, really love about the Neural DSP plugins, not just the fact that they sound awesome and you've got really cool artists that have got some plugins as well. But that transpose feature, I think, is just absolutely game changing. And it means I can go from like, you know, drop D to drop C super, super instantly. Now, there are some other amps as well that the Gojira patch has got. This is the hot one that they've got. And then there is the clean and then the RST as well. I'm just going to switch over to the RST, which I think is the highest gain one anyway. <laughs> It's actually a little bit more contained than the hot one there, which... But that one is obviously, as soon as you change that over all the sort of EQ and stuff like that, it's just going to go to neutral. So let's actually just reset this again, just so we can go back to everything as it was. And then let me just change some of these cabs out just so you can hear exactly what these are doing. So this is cab three. So tons of options with just even the cabs there as well. Now there are a couple of other additions, particularly with the pitch shifty stuff with the Gojira patch. So if you do have an expression pedal, you can get use of all of that. Cool octave sounds as well. And there's a couple of extra little bits as well in terms of the delays and the reverbs stuff. Show you just them very, very quickly. In fact, let's turn on all the modulation stuff as well and really hear how this sounds. <laughs> So again, the main thing just being that you've got loads of options to kind of scope your tone however you want. And that's the coolest thing, again, with the plugin integration with this is that you can mix and match these with all the bass stuff that is already on the Quad Cortex. Now to jump over, let's switch back to the Ibanez because we're going to check out some of the Pliny stuff right now. Which will very much be awesome sounding with some split coil action for sure. So this is just another preset just taken directly from Pliny's plugin. This is the electric sunrise intro. It's a stunning clean. It really shows off some of those kind of ping pong delays and all that good stuff.
I don't know about you, but I can definitely play on that patch for absolute hours. This patch also includes, obviously, the transpose feature we were talking about. There's a plenty compressor. There seems to be a lot more kind of options with the plenty one, just in terms of being a bit more of a kind of like versatile plugin. Like, not to say the Gujira one isn't, but that's very much like, hey, do you want like the strongest, thickest metal sound in the world? Whereas the plenty, you've kind of got a couple of different options for super sort of crystal cleans then warmer sort of like distortion sounds as well which let me just show you just from here let's change over to even just keeping it within the plenty one let's go for the electric sunrise lead here it gives me a completely new single chain there which actually that's one of my kind of favorite things that i've really enjoyed about this new update and it may have been featured on the one before but obviously with these artist presets in here is that i can kind of try this out before actually downloading it to the unit here so here's just the lead as it comes just right out of the patch <laughs> Gives me a chance to, chance to try it out and then, again, if you're not keen on it, you can cycle through some of the other ones there if you want to. Super, super intuitive and easy to use, but let's just go back to what I've actually got set up on it. Presets, Electric Sunrise. This is actually the, the rhythm one that I've downloaded to it as well. And let's check out some of the additional sounds that we are getting. So with the Plenty one, you actually get a couple of delays there, a couple of different reverbs. There's actually the doubler option as well, which again is is a, it's a thing that is implemented with the plugins and it can just make your guitar sound absolutely massive as well. <laughs> So that's just a really cool option, obviously, if you want to kind of just make like solos kind of stand out just a little bit more and just get a little bit more kind of obviously like space without adding, you know, modulation or reverbs or anything like that. It's such a cool sounding effect that I'm really chuffed that they have put into this as well. Now, very quickly, the last thing that I want to bring attention to, and this is just something that I've quite enjoyed, and this is just one of the new options that they've got within the kind of base level, like outside of the plugins, is this is something that everybody will get if you've got a quad cortex, is this circular, circular delay, which I found quite difficult to say there. It's kind of like, it's giving me like boss slicer sort of like energy, which you'll hear here just what it does. It's like a rhythmic sort of like delay, which you can put between a bunch of different presets here. There's quite a cool sort of effect on there, so even if I'm playing just some chords or anything. Let's actually, it's maybe going to be a bit better with a clean on there, so let's change over just on this patch. Thank you. 
So depending on the way that you actually input this and depending on obviously the kind of tempo of your song, I think that's probably going to be really, really key factor for that. You can create these really cool sort of rhythmic guitar parts, which obviously you're just striking one note, letting the delay do the thing and it can create this really, really cool sort of effect. But in all honesty, that's kind of as much as I wanted to touch on with the 3.0 update with the Quad Cortex here. There's so much to get through that I think that it's, if you are you know, a Quad Cortex user or anything, you really owe yourself probably carving out an entire night and just going through all the sounds, especially if you do have the plugin sort of functionality of this. But I think that's also one thing that's quite important with the Quad Cortex and the plugin integration there, that just because, say, like the Gojira one, it's, you know, it's a metal band that's, get, you're given these like really sort of like mammoth whale sort of like sized, you know, distortions and all that sort of stuff, but they can still be used outside of a metal context, like the, the hot amp on there you would get such a cool, thick lead tone out of that. And then vice versa as well. Say, you know, you're a blues player or something. Some of the effects that are in the play one or even like the compressor or the fact you can get a pre-delay now, like before your amplifier, that could be usable for a lot of people. And then, hey, even if you don't have the plugins, you get a lot of really cool new additions like the transpose, like the doubler and like that circular delay as well. But let me know what you think about the 3.0 update for the Quad Cortex. Are you using it just now? Has it made you kind of consider maybe getting the plugins? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you have liked the video, a like and a subscribe go a long way to help the channel. And you can keep up with all the latest news at Guitar Guitar HQ. But until next time, I've been Kieran, and this has just been a very quick look at the 3.0 update for the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. Have a great day.